Okay, part two, volume of revolution. We were doing the shell method in part one, and we found, uh, we, we know that the volume, okay, I'm not explaining how we got this volume. We will do it in another video, separate video, but the volume is equal to the integral from A to B to pi R of X, H of X dx, which is integral from zero to one to pi. What is the radius? Since it rotates around uh, X equal one, this means the radius is one minus X. The radius is one, the whole one minus a certain value minus a certain value x to have a radius since this part since this region is rot rotates around x equal one and what is the height the height is the difference between these two curves the upper curve minus the lower curve which is x squared minus of into three x squared minus two or minus three x squared plus two expanding it directly the x this one is easy to find it's integral from zero to one two pi into 1 minus x into minus 2x squared, it's x squared minus 3x squared plus 2 <coughs> dx, right? This is simply to find, let's take the 2 pi outside and let's take also, we can take 2 common factor over here and multiply it with 2 pi, so it will be 4 pi outside, integral of 0 to 1, right? 1 minus x multiplied with minus x squared plus 1 since I took uh, two, 2 common factor to multiply it with 2 pi. All right, so it's 4 pi uh, integral of uh, uh, from 0 to 1. Let's expand it of minus x squared plus 1 minus plus x cubed minus x dx, which is equal 4 pi integral from 0 to 1 of uh, x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 1 dx. Let's find the uh, integration now for pi uh, x cube is x power 4 over 4 minus x cube over 3 minus x squared divided by 2 plus x from 0 to 1 we have to substitute 1 since when we substitute 0 we are going to get 0 because all of them are terms of x are in terms of x this means it's 4 pi multiplied with 1 over 4 minus 1 over 3 right minus 1 over 2 plus 1 that will be common denominator 12 okay common denominator 12 it's uh, 3 minus 4 minus 6 plus 12 12 minus 6 minus 4 it's 2 5 over 12 and we can simplify the 4 and the 12 so it's 5 pi out of 3 we are going to to have the same answer over here for sure and it will be 5 pi over 3 and this is not hard to find it's like it's just we need the time to 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 have this right to have this integral we just need time let me <coughs> try let me try to copy all, all those and paste it here again okay <coughs> all right let's uh, let's try to do this uh, integration it's not hard uh, let me do the first one okay let me do the first one if we still have time we, we do the other one let's do only integral from minus 2 to from minus 2 to 0 of uh, pi 1 square is 1 minus this one is an it's 1 minus sorry it's uh, it's like that huh it's like that it's one minus all of this square. It's one minus all of that square, right? So this one is an identity. So it's a square the first, square of the first, which is one times minus, it's minus one. Minus two times the first times the second, and times minus outside, it will be plus two times one times the second. And then square of the second, times minus outside it's minus y plus 2 divided by 3 dy right which is equal integral from minus 2 to 0 let's put pi directly outside 1 minus 1 cancel it's uh, simply 2 ra 2 over radical 3 let's say let's put the radical outside directly with this constant and radical y plus 2 okay <coughs> uh, dy i'm expanding it minus pi again integral from minus 2 to 0 of and over 3 this is 1 over 3 outside y plus 2 
d1. No problem with that. This is easy. And this one is easy too, but we have to take it as u. We have to take it as u. So we change this to u power half. This implies it's going to be pi from minus 2 to 0, right? Uh, 2 pi over radical 3, okay? What left is this one, which is u power. All right, let me... Let me take this part by itself alone. Let's say we are finding only this one now. Okay? <coughs> it's just calculations. You can put it on calculator to find it easily. But uh, let, let's do it. Let's say this is uh, this is one, the first part of it. It's a pi. It's a pi integral from minus 2 to 0. Let, let u equal uh, y plus 2, this implies that du equal d of y plus 2 means dy, right? du equal dy, this is du. du equal d of all of dy plus 2 means dy. All right, if y equal minus 2, this implies that minus 2 replace it over here, u will be equal to minus 2 plus 2, this means equal to 0. And if y equal 0, this implies that y is equal to 0 plus 2, which is equal to 2, not y. Again, same mistake, it will be u, all right? So u equal u 0 plus 2, which is equal to 2. This implies that the integral becomes 2 pi divided by radical 3, integral instead from minus 2 to u to 0. I'm talking about if y is equal to minus 2, then it will be 0. If y is equal to 0, then u will be equal to 2. Then it is integral from 0 to 2 of u power half du, right? Which is equal to 2 pi over radical 3, u power uh, uh, 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 from 0 to 2. This is simple now. <coughs> it's equal, sorry, 4 pi over 3 radical 3, um, uh, u power 3 it's radical u cube from 0 to 2. We just replace 2 because 0 will make the whole thing 0. So it will be 4 pi over 3. I lost the cursor. Okay, over here. Which is equal. Uh, we just replace 2 instead of u. It's, it will be equal 4 pi radical 8 over 3 radical 3. We do the calculations and we got approximation of that. Or we leave it in terms of pi. This one is simply... It's simple, simpler than the other one. Directly we can do it. I will not uh, waste time for that. Uh, you know how to do integrals. And uh, this one is the same. This one is the same because when we uh, expand this, okay, when we expand this one as an identity, we will get two radical y or minus two radical y. We take it y power half and this one too, the same as I did up here. And we are going to get the same answer, which is five pi over three.